In the last month, the S&P was up a measly 1.46%, but this has not stopped Robinhood investors from making some big gains in the stock market. In this continued monthly series, which you guys seem to love here on the channel, we're going to be talking about 10 stocks that Robinhood investors are buying here in July 2020, how those stocks have performed, and I'm also going to share with you guys some of my own personal insight on each of these investments. Honestly, I was surprised to see this list because a ton of the stocks that made it here were what you call spec stocks, but either way, we'll discuss that more in detail in a second. Now, I'm going to walk you guys through from the most popular bot stock on the Robinhood platform all the way to the least in our top 10 list here. And as we go through, I want you guys to share your personal opinions with these stocks, whether you're an investor in the stock, whether you're bullish or bearish, let me know in the comment section down below. And also to support the channel, guys, smash that like button down below to show me that you want me to continue making this series on the channel and that we can actually make this a success month after month. So of course the most hype stock I've seen in a long time here, Nikola Motors, made the number one spot. In the last month, this company completed its merger with VTIQ, had its ticker symbol changed to NKLA, and the stock is now currently up nearly 70%. A lot of investors, however, bought near the peak and are down around 20 to 30% on their positions. And I'm sure most are hoping for another run up here in the stock to $100 per share. Just over 150,000 Robinhood investors bought this stock in the last month, which is absolutely bonkers in my opinion. But I wish them all the best here with this spec play. I made a few videos on my thoughts on Nikola and even compared it to Tesla in a recent video because that's something you guys asked for. And it's safe to say that I don't share the same sentiment here as these 150,000 Robinhood investors. Workhorse is our number two stock here and it's a recently popular EV player as well that has pretty much emerged out of nowhere at least when it comes to their stock. Their stock here is up over 600% in the last month and these are some incredible gains to realize in the span of just a few weeks and honestly congratulations to anyone who got in here. This is another EV player, it's a bit more niche than Nikola is and it targets a different segment of the market as well. And there's a lot of excitement over a potential deal with a company USPS, the largest postal service in the US, which is valued at over $6 billion. So if they win this deal, it could be a big, big deal for the company. 121,000 Robinhood investors bought this stock and many have realized good gains on this one as well. Now, if you are curious about this company and want to learn more about the possible USPS deal that they are bidding on, I did make a video on this recently, so check that out after this video. I'll leave a link in the description down below. So here's finally a company that isn't a spec play. Amazon is up around 16.6% in the last month. And you're probably thinking uh, this is poor performance, especially when you're comparing to the first two stocks. But guys, a 16% return on a $1 trillion blue chip giant in just 30 days is absolutely amazing. Just think of how much money had to flow into this company to move the stock this much, and it's absolutely mind-boggling. Nearly 100,000 Robinhood investors bought Amazon this last month, and in this new world we're living in, this is a business that has and will continue to thrive. I personally wouldn't be surprised if the stock hits like $3,000 per share sometime soon, especially by the end of 2020. Number four here is Top Ships. This is a company I haven't really looked into much or discussed on the channel at all. Looking at their chart, this is an absolute penny stock play here with about a $100 million market cap and has essentially been flat over the last month after some crazy volatile swings that it saw early in the month, which is probably when most Robinhood investors bought in. 107,000 Robinhood investors hold this stock today, which is deeply concerning because without even looking into this business, this looks like a pure penny stock, pump and dump stock, and it's clearly a gamble which isn't panning out too well. Number five, again, another great surprise here with a blue chip giant, and this time it's Apple, which is another trillion dollar company. Apple is up nearly 12% the past month, and similar to Amazon, this is stellar performance from such a large business. Apple is a rock in any portfolio, and recent performance has made this a very popular stock with both retail investors and hedge funds as well. About 106,400 Robinhood investors bought Apple in the last month, and although I'm a huge bull on this company, 
this is a stock that in my opinion is overvalued today. In fact, I did cover Apple in my recent three stocks I will be buying if the market crashes video and I specified some buy zone prices that I'd be willing to buy more Apple at. So if you are interested, check out that video as well. Again, link in the description down below. Now we're getting into kind of the back half of the list here. Number six, Ideanomics, which is our next stock, which is another company that is riding this EV wave that we're seeing with Nikola, Workhouse, and some other companies. This is an absolute penny stock as well, the $250 million market cap, and over the past month has returned investors over 300%, which is why many are still flocking to this stock. This again is not a business that I would personally touch, but just over 106,000 Robinhood investors disagree with me, and so far it's panned out well for them. This, guys, is a pure gamble no matter what way you look at it, and anyone holding this stock still today should be prepared to see those gains cut in half at any moment. Number seven, American Airlines has been a consistent participant in our top tens list every single month and is actually the only airline stock to make the list this month. This stock is up just about 5.5% this last month and it did see a lot of volatility earlier in the month where the stock nearly doubled. The balance sheet has always been a big concern here with this company and a big question mark for me as well as to what their future will be and I've covered this in depth before on the channel and I went over why I'm not a fan of this business. How However, 105,000 Robinhood investors disagree with my analysis and bought the company anyways, so I wish them all the best here. I'll just say this guys, regarding airline stocks, airlines are definitely going to be around for the long haul, but it doesn't mean that shareholders will be just as lucky over that time period. Number eight, Genius Brands has made a comeback here the last day on some big pending news. That being said, even with the recent rally the stock has seen, the stock is down over 55% in the last month and was a pure example of a pump and dump. 103,300 Robinhood investors bought this stock the last month and I venture to bet a lot more are buying in again since the run up on Thursday. The allure right now around this business is the big pending news that they have coming up. So we'll have to wait and see what exactly this news is. Is it does it actually change the fundamentals of the business for the better? Does this mean they're going to be making a lot more money? We'll have to wait and see. But if you guys want to see me make an update video on that on Genius Stock, let me know in the comment section down below. Good old Tesla made the list here and I'm happy and thrilled to really see this stock get some recognition finally after being one of the most beaten down stocks in 2019. The stock is up over 36% this last month, pushing the market cap well over $200 billion, which is absolutely phenomenal performance for this stock. Investors like myself who bought on Tesla just about a year ago are up well over 300% and nearly 97,000 Robinhood investors that have bought into this company in the last month are hoping for similar gains over the next year or so. Tesla is one of my biggest winners, it's one of my favorite businesses to invest in and I'm glad to see it make this list. Now guys, I can't believe this number 10 stock actually made it into this list here. There are thousands of businesses out there and companies you can invest in, but somehow Robinhood investors have chosen to invest in a bankrupt company to make the top 10 list. Yes, Hertz filed for bankruptcy and that hasn't stopped Robinhood investors. The stock is up nearly 80% last month and it has performed well, but this is just a coin flip here, guys. The company filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They don't know if they're going to make it through this. Insiders at the company are selling the stock, yet over 88,000 Robinhood investors bought in and many made some good gains here and are lucky to actually profit on this business. But I'll say that if you're holding the stock for the long term and you're hoping for a turnaround play in this business even the company isn't really confident in their future so I'm not really sure why investors think that they have an edge here because if it comes down to it and they are able to get out of chapter 11 more likely than not shareholders will get wiped out 
it's just a common thing because debt holders are top of the priority list and when a company files a chapter 11 they have to fulfill those obligations before anything else typically what this means is that they'll pay their debt holders the debt holders will be happy they'll move on but then shareholders are just disregarded they get wiped out all shares that are existing are pretty much reset to a value of zero dollars and you're pretty much starting again from scratch as an investment here which means if you have say five ten twenty thousand dollars in hertz today you could wake up tomorrow morning find out shareholders are getting wiped out and there goes your entire investment but nonetheless tell me you're making a ton of money on this so just do you let me know how Hertz has done for you in the comment section down below and actually any of these stocks if you've made a good gain on them in the last month let me know in the comment section down below the one thing that I see here is that there's a common trend with EV and EV related stocks here that have made this list in the last month this is very similar to a few months ago when um, cruise lines and airlines were making the list and that was kind of the dominance there but this time it's EVs and EV plays you know workhouse Nikola Tesla these are all companies in that space and if you want my honest opinion I think that we're pretty much in an EV bubble here today if you want a video on that as well let me know in the comment section down below I was thinking of making one but not sure if you guys would be interested but either way it really concerns me that investors are not looking for value with companies like 3m they're actually at a discount here which you can buy up for the long term but instead they're chasing these quick gains which are working right now but over time more often than not investors lose money on those type of investments either way guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think if you want me to continue this series every single month i enjoy making it i think it gives us good insight as to what's going on in the stock market and what kind of stocks newer retail investors are buying as well and hey sometimes it's just fun to follow these hype stocks which is pretty much what i've been doing here for the last month or so guys either way thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you're brand new here but either way don't forget to invest positively and i'll see you in the next one Peace.